Okay, welcome back. Agent Jake Gatsby here with a, another bar-related hospitality tale, or whatever you might want to call it. I'm going to talk about the Dial Tone Lounge in uh, Enfield, Connecticut. There were a bunch of them all over the place. Uh, Gatsby's in Wilbraham actually was originally a Dial Tone Lounge. Um, the wires were all still in the basement when I worked there. Dial Tone Lounge theme was a bar with phones on all the tables so that, and they had a number over the table and you'd call uh, like table 12 and say, hey, I want to speak to the brunette. And um, they wouldn't know where the call was coming from. So it's kind of a suspicious way of meeting people, but it was successful for a while. By the time I discovered the dial tone in Enfield, uh, the phones were gone and it was a small dance floor, uh, had a rectangular bar in the center, pool table in the back, and a Pac-Man machine, which was huge. This was about 1980. So they ran a promotion like a lot of other bars did. And at the time, the drinking age was 20 or 21 in Massachusetts, and the dial tone was in Enfield, and it was 18 to get in. So we would uh, cruise over the state line and go down to the dial tone or uh, the Hazard Villa Lounge, Shaker Park, um, Katie's Cafe, Eugene's, a few, a few places. But... The dial tone to get people in there on Sunday nights they ran um, 10 cent drafts yeah 10 cents a beer <laughs> and keep in mind beers were only probably I don't know 75 cents in a bar back then but uh it was 10 cents they would uh it was light out whenever we got there so it was like six o'clock you had to bring your own cup so we would go to Friendly's next door and buy uh, one of those big cardboard wax fribble cups. And they sold them to us for, I don't know, probably 10 cents. Who knows? And uh, then we would uh, walk over to the dial tone and uh, belly up to the bar. The kegs were Pat's Blue Ribbon. He would open two barrels at like 6 o'clock and they would go until they ran out. There was no, like, end time. They didn't just keep opening up more and more kegs. So, Dial Tone had quite a reputation. Uh, I read something online where they called it the notorious Dial Tone, and I could see why. Uh, dial a Fight, it was called. Um, they had some serious bouncers there. Greg, John. I mean, played hockey with John, but the 10 cent draft thing was basically like uh, get as drunk as and as fast as you can because the kegs is going to run out. So the cups would actually start crumbling apart after about four or five beers. And, uh, you know, we would, you know, hang on to it as best we could so the beer wouldn't spill. The, uh, Owner used to bus girls from Bay Path College up the road down there. He bought a bus and uh, bring in these loads of Bay Path girls. Uh, it was uh, <laughs> quite a scene. The girls would show up about the same time the kegs would run out. So there's like, I don't know, a hundred drunken 18 year old dudes waiting for them. <laughs> Uh, not the ideal uh, story these girls probably told their parents. Um, the only problem with uh, giving away that much beer in such a short amount of time is uh, they only had two bathrooms with a uh, ladies' room and men's room, and the men's room had a urinal and a stall. And that's it. So there was always a line, and it was a real pain in the ass. Uh, but in the... Uh, stall there was so much vomit and so much urine all over the place the owner got a jackhammer 
pounded a hole through the floor of the men's room that you could actually see through. And there was a huge barrel in the basement. And there was a squeegee in the corner. And they would come by every now and then and squeegee everything down into this hole into the basement. It was fucking disgusting. And whoever got the job of emptying that barrel, oh, man, not not a pretty thing. Not a pretty thing, I'm sure. Um, anyhow, we'd go down there with, like, $3, um, get all loaded up. And uh, actually, a couple times I took the Bay Path, Bay Path bus home because I live near there. <laughs> I don't know. It was uh, it was a wild time, and uh, the laws were different, like I mentioned in the other tape. So this is Agent Jay Gatsby checking out.